Police say a man had stabbed his wife, then chased his stepdaughter, stabbing her, leaving the teen unconscious in a pool of her own blood at these apartments on Mission Avenue. She had and yelling so I just assumed that they were in an argument her and her husband and then I heard screaming and then I heard what I thought was my name as soon as I opened the door I saw her and I saw a flash which was him running around the corner and um, she said Jay he stabbed me and she turned and I just saw blood all the way down her back and um, her face was very um, like filleted open on her left cheek as you can see and then when I looked down at her wrist I could see that her radial artery was de most definitely severed because the cut was very 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 deep and then I remembered my neighbor was a marine he brings me literally a trash bag full of medical supplies and then the other marine came up it was staff sergeant uh, Brian from headquarters regiment as well he ran up and he called 911 the grandmother, Terry, came up to me and was like, Jay, he's stabbing Tatiana. And I got there, she actually had a chest wound. I initially thought that it was her heart because there was so much blood. And she was almost unconscious. And she has trouble getting breath and breathing. So I just got her in a, a position of comfort, got the chest seal on, um, did a full assessment. And I just knew like she was a baby and he was chasing her. And I think you're like, you're, like you said, your mom, your mom instinct kicks in. And I knew like her last words before she kind of went conscious was go get my baby. You know? And luckily it was just a team. I'm telling you those Marines, it wouldn't happen without them. Like it was amazing that Corman Marine team, that dynamic, it's so sacred and so amazing. And we all knew what to do and worked off each other. And it was really great.